Known as the legend and the golden boy, he was an American IFBB professional bodybuilder who achieved his greatest success by winning the first Mr. Olympia contest in 1965 and successfully defending the title in 1966 before quitting competitive bodybuilding. He is none other than Larry D. Scott. With broad shoulders, a narrow waist, and well-defined muscles, Larry Scott was renowned for his impressive physique. During his peak bodybuilding years, he was 200 pounds and stood at 5 feet 7 inches tall. His 20 inches peak biceps made his arm stand out in particular because of their size. His squat waist was a trim 29 inches while his chest measured a net worthy 52 inches. Overall, his squat physique reflected his commitment to the sport of bodybuilding and his pursuit of the ideal physique. Coming on his early life, on October 12, 1938, Larry D. Scott was born in Blackfoot, Idaho. He was raised in Pocatello and started lifting weight at the age of 16. He first trained in a makeshift gym in his backyard before joining a nearby gym to hone his abilities under the direction of seasoned trainers. Coming on his career, Early in the 1960s, Larry Scott entered several local and regional bodybuilding competitions where he quickly made a name for himself as a fierce rival. In 1960, he was crowned Mr. Idaho and in 1962, he was crowned Mr. California. Following his victory, Larry Scott rose to prominence in the bodybuilding community, receiving praise for both his physical appearance and his engaging personality from both supporters and detractors. He acquired the moniker The Golden Boy due to his golden tan and blonde hair, which highlighted the definition of his muscles. Larry Scott successfully defended his Mr. Olympia title the following year, in 1966, defeating a strong field of opponents including Sergio Oliva who would later go on to win the competition three times straight after Scott's retirement. Coming on his training, the main goals of Larry Scott's intense workout were to develop his chest and arms, which were his most distinctive features. He was a prominent of training with high volume and high intensity, and he frequently used upper sets and drop sets in the workout. He continuously pushed himself to lift heavier weight for complete more reps in order to further emphasize the significance of progressive overload. Coming on his diet, Scott was determined about the value of protein in the diet for repairing and growing muscles. To make sure he was getting enough of his essential nutrients, he consumed protein supplements in addition to a diet rich in lean protein sources like chicken, turkey and fish. In addition, he consumed a moderate amount of carbohydrates to help him stay energized and support his training while consuming relatively little fat. Coming on his retirement, Larry Scott shocked the bodybuilding community when he announced his retirement from competitive bodybuilding after winning the 1966 Mr. Olympia competition. He gave reason for his desire to pursue other interests and his worry about how asteroid use would affect the sports. At the age of 75, Larry Scott passed away on March 8, 2014. His social media accounts are therefore inactive since he stopped bodybuilding in the 1960s. It is difficult to estimate his net worth. Nevertheless, he received cash prizes from contest endorsement deals and personal training throughout his career. So, what do you think of this great bodybuilding legend? Let us know in the comment section. Please like, subscribe and share to MM Fit and press the bell icon for future updates. This is for the day. See you in the next video. Till that time, stay motivated and stay fit.